Hi, I'm Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This Photoshop video tutorial will look at a very handy feature located within Photoshop called Auto Align Layers. It's an exceptionally useful tool when we're photographing groups of people. We all know that in a group of people you're never going to get one photograph where everyone is looking at their best. And that is why photographers will always shoot more than one image of a group. One of the main uses of that will be so that we can combine the best of two images into one. We see on the images open on the screen. In this first image, this chap over here is looking at his best, but these two colleagues are not. Looking at the second image, which was shot in rapid succession, they are looking at their best, but in this one he is not. Simple solution is that we need to combine both these images into one. We head on over to the toolbar and we select the first tool you encounter, which is the Move tool. Now we need to ensure that when we drag this image into the bottom image, that it is positioned in the center of the canvas. Using the Move tool, we drag this picture into the bottom image, holding the Shift key now, letting go of the mouse, and then letting go of the Shift key. This, as mentioned previously, will ensure that this image is now in the center of the other one. We will now align these layers. Head on over to the Layers panel, Shift-click on the bottom layer, so that both layers are selected and we invoke the command from the edit menu and select auto align layers. Now due to the two shots being taken without a tripod, alignment will have to be done in order to ensure that pixel for pixel these images will line up. We now see the options of auto, perspective, collage, cylindrical, all of these features need to be used to ensure alignment of the two layers. Selecting Auto will ensure that the best method of alignment is selected. We click on OK. Especially in the case, as you will see here, a tripod was not used, so a lot of repositioning had to be achieved to align the images. We now go back to the Layers panel, click on Layer 1, and we head on over to the bottom of the Layers panel and select Create a Layer Mask. Layer Mask has been created. What we need to achieve is we have on the bottom layer, we have these two chaps looking at their best, and on the top layer, he's looking at his best. The Layer Mask is protecting the bottom layer. What we need to do now is to use the Brush tool to open up this Layer Mask to reveal the contents of the layer beneath it as you can see now in your Layers panel, on Layer 0. We head on over to the Toolbar, and we can either press the letter B, or we just need to select the Brush tool. Ensure that your foreground background colors are black and white. Should they be white and black, press the letter X, and you will now be painting with a foreground color of black. We now need to adjust the brush size. Brush size is adjusted by the left and the right square brackets. These square bracket keys are located to the right of the letter P. To make the brush larger, tap on the right square bracket. To make the brush smaller, tap on the left square bracket. What we need to do now is to paint over this image and we are now revealing the contents of the layer below. We paint as little as we have to, but as much as we need to, to keep the image looking real, as positions have changed quite a bit from layer 1 and layer 2, from the first and the second exposure. So far, success has been achieved by incorporating this image into our final image. We now head on over to this image, and we will now open up the layer mask to reveal the best of this little chap, as per the layer beneath. This is really an exceptionally helpful technique 
that everybody will use when photographing groups. Looking at the layers panel will reveal exactly what the layer mask has done. The black areas that we notice over here simply means that the layer mask has been opened up by the brush tool to reveal the contents of layer zero. To complete the tutorial, we can head on over to the crop tool and we can simply crop the image to crop out the areas where the auto alignment took place. Pressing the enter key will yield your final result. Of course, the content to wear fill option could have been used, which would have eliminated the need for cropping. But in this instance, the simple crop is used. This is an amazing technique that will help you time and time again where you're photographing groups of people. I hope this has been really helpful and I hope you use it a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.